All right, and hey there, Proxy is and this is Proxy here. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Legends RCS Let's Play. So if you guys missed out during our last episode, basically what has happened here is, guys, if you don't remember, uh, we actually went and uh, got ourselves kicked out out of the Jew Life Village, and uh, I guess what has happened here is that we actually have to go and find some red material, uh, because uh, since we are now uh, with uh, this Kogita type of person that we don't really know all that too much, and we're over at this ancient type of resort type of area, or ancient retreat i think that's what it was called uh so that we could actually go and stay there for the time being until things kind of settle down um uh, but for what we actually have to do is that we have to go speak out over to the three different lake guardians and battle out the three different alphas that are going to be lurking around now we already just went and did one of the lake guardians right now and uh, we already just went and got ourselves the red chain material from Vesprit, of course and also battled out that alpha gudra now it seems for us here right now is that we actually do have another up and coming uh battle uh, with another hasuya type of uh, form that is going to be going on and we are actually going to go and uh, taking care of the Hisuian Zorark that is actually located within Lake Aquity because that is going to be our next trial. Now we only just have one more and that is going to be over of course at the Lake Valor area which we have not been to yet uh, because uh, we are going to try and basically complete off on both of these two things uh, here within this episode if I can. Uh, now also too, I think we already have our Pokemon prepared I think for this, right? Because we all we do need is to have Wish Cash here and I think we'll be alright. Alright, but let's go and head all the way up here and let's go and- Ah! What the heck? What was that all about? <laughs> uh, like I thought we already made it all the way up top there. That's why Basculesia kind of like just stopped. Uh, Hmm. Normally, sometimes Basque Legion would not actually, uh, uh, like, like, stop all the way up there like that, unless, uh, unless it got, like, glitched up or something like that, but it's all good. But, uh, also, too, hope you guys do go and check out on the Metroid Dread Let's Play. We are, of course, going to be, uh, continuing our way throughout the, uh, Ellen, uh, type of part that is, uh, going to be, uh, ha uh happening there. Uh, I know that we just got ourselves to get ourselves introduced to the brand new X Parasites once again, and this time they actually have a brand new form, which that is super scary about, so hope you guys did go and check out on that last episode, uh, with those X Parasites. But not only that, but we did actually come across, uh, another one of those Chozo type of robots that we actually had to go and battle this time this guy was a little bit more crazier than the other two uh but either way we actually did go and knock him out uh, pretty quickly as from there but as well uh we are gonna be going and grabbing ourselves out on the energy tank which is in the ellen part because i actually did figure out on how to do that so that will be the first thing that i will be doing uh within that episode for today now uh i actually do have my exam that is gonna be happening for tomorrow which i am pretty excited about uh this teacher that i actually have is a much nicer teacher than the other past other previous teachers that i have from before so it really should be all that too much of a problem uh within this uh math exam that i am going to be doing here so hopefully we can all cross our fingers together and i can actually get my diploma for my college and then i can move on over onwards onto a filming career that i actually do want to go out and uh, actually do right on after uh once this program is actually be finished now this is who is or should be all that too much of a problem because i actually did do some practice recording before actually going into this so we should be all right. So I think for what I did before was that I set up for a Z head, but, and then I went and did a little bit of damage from there. Uh, so it seems like he's going to go out for another Shadow Claw. That's not going to do all that too much, but I'm going to go for a Z head, but this time go for a strong style. But it seems like, unfortunately, I'm not getting too much of a high roll with this. But either way, Zorak still goes down and out. And I get that W right there. So that's all good. And we still have a Togetic that is still at level 60 with no Dazzling Rock. Oh, what the heck? Where am I ever going to find a Dazzling Rock to get myself a Togekiss? I would like to have a Togekiss before the end when we actually do go and take care of Arceus. Because that is going to be a problem <laughs> if I don't have a Togekiss. Oh, but here we go. So here is Mesprit. Or, or, or not Mesprit. Wow. Why did I just say Mesprit? Oopsie. Wow. Okay, that was just absolutely terrible. I completely butchered that. Uh, it's it's Ooxie. It's uh, Okay, well, there we go. We met up with Ooxie, even though that we already just went and taken care of Mesprit. Alright, so yeah. So all we have to do right now is that uh, we actually have to go and do this little bit of a, uh, a, of a pattern. Uh, that is actually going to be uh, happening here, and uh, we actually have to like do some, I guess, like some sort of password that we have to kind of go and uh, basically uh, know about here, and uh, we actually have to go and uh, answer out on Yuxi's uh, type of stuff. So I think he just basically said something about uh, how many eyes are like on all the different Pokemon. Now I actually do have the guide that is actually right here. 
And uh, let's go and see. Uh, we actually do have Kobe, which of course that is going to be six. We actually do have Zubat that has zero because of course it is a bat because it only uses sound to actually uh, uh, hear things. Uh, we actually have Unknown that actually has one. Uh, we already have uh, Magneton that actually does have three. And we actually do have uh, Dust Clops that of course also does have one as well. So it should be six, oh, one, and three, and one. So. That should be how uh, this thing should potentially actually work. So let's see if that is going to be it. Oh, and I think, is that right? So take this piece of the spirit to buy the world once more. All right. Well, thank you very much. And let's go and do that right here. All right. And there we go. So we got ourselves the Oopsie Claw. Nice. All right, so now we actually do have the proof that you have completed the trial set by Uxie, and the being of the knowledge that lives in Lake Acne, this item is needed to force the red chain. All right, so there we go. So there is our next red chain material. So now all that we have to do now is just go and talk on over to Azelf, and that will be back over at Lake Valor. So I think what we should probably go out and do is that I'll cut this part out. I'll see you guys when we actually do go and hop right on over to Lake Valor, just so that you guys don't have to see me have to go and uh, uh, basically go all the way back. But it seems we got guys a little bit of some more cutscenes to go and wonder about here. So I still must wonder why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running around uh well that's because of its pokemon of course you know they, they always want to have some sort of challenge that involves with something that ha that has to happen with some sort of main item requirement right uh, that's just also like a legend of zelda as well too it's always uh, it's always something easy for us but it always has to come down to some sort of battle that actually has to happen before we actually go and worry about collecting that item all right, guys, and I am back. So here we go. We are finally now over at, I want to say, Lake Valor now. Yes, we are back over at Lake Valor right now. All right, so let's go ahead and head on over here. Now, I think, did I ever find the unknown that is actually around here? Because normally, most of the times, uh, you will actually find uh, unknowns that are around this place. Because we already just found one already uh, from the unknown eye back over at the Obsidian Fieldless. So I'm pretty certain there should be one kind of sneaking in the distance right here somewhere. And let me just see, because I'm pretty sure this is a new area that I don't think we haven't really checked out all that too much. But do you know about Lake Valor? It's said that it's some form of a volcanic eruption like Ver Lake Verity. Uh, though that there are also theories that it says that it was carved into the midst of a Pokemon battle. Oh, wow. So this lake is protected by the Pokemon Azel. So when Azel took flight, uh, the, the will to what these two doing was born in the people's hearts. Or is that uh, what the legends uh, would have us believed? So, I'm probably assuming that is this whole area of, like, the Chrism... Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Uh, just look at the background there. We literally just found another Wisp. I think we're going to go and pick that up before I go and worry about doing this uh, trial challenge right now before we go and do anything else. <laughs> I would like to make sure to go and pick that up before I forget where that location of that list is going to be at. Yeah, we should probably go do that right now. All right, let's go ahead on over there. Whoa, what the heck is that Pokemon? Is that a Wishcash? Oh my God, it's an Alpha Wishcash. Uh, I'm not really all that too prepared to actually go and fight with that Alpha Wishcash right there. We'll just go ahead up this way. We'll make sure that we pick up on the list as quickly as possible. Uh, but at least we know that there's another Alpha here. Whoa! Okay, I did not realize that we could actually go and climb on the trees. No, Sneasler, calm down. Uh, wow. Uh, there we go. And now we got ourselves that whisk. So now there's only 50 more remaining. Very cool indeed. Uh, hey there, buddy. Are you gonna be the uh, the Pokemon that I need to battle with there, or what's going on here? I know that there should always be an Alpha always inside this case. So I don't think uh, Wishcash is gonna be the Alpha that we do want. But there we go. So here we are. So let's see what we're up against. Oh my god, it is the Overquill guy. Well, we do have uh, Shadow, of course, and I think Shadow is actually going to be the one that's going to help us out. I'm trying to remember on what type of typing that you're going to be. So we'll just have to go and just set up for a Thunderfang or maybe a T-Wave or something, and we'll try and uh, paralyze it first, and hopefully we can uh, get a little bit of some paralysis from this guy. I don't know if uh, Overquill's going to have anything too insane. Maybe probably have Sludge Bomb, which that would probably be annoying, but let's see what we got. Double Edge. Okay, that's actually going to hurt quite a bit, but that should be alright. I'm going to go for a Thunder Fang and see how much that's going to do. Wow, it doesn't even do that much. Okay, uh, we'll just set up for a straw style. I know that this is going to probably uh, pr pretty much knock out Shadow, but I'm going to try as best as I can here. 
Ooh, nice. We actually got paralyzed. That's great. Uh, poison jab. Unfortunately, that's just going to knock us out there. That's all right, but at least we got the uh, the, the paralysis right off from that. Uh, I'm going to go and set up for maybe wish cash. Let's go for wish cash. Well, if you are going to be that poison typing, we should be able to go for a Z headbutt, right? Would that be able to do anything? No, it doesn't really have to see any effect. Oh, okay. So I guess you must be also dark type as well in the process. Dark and poison, maybe. Uh, we'll just have to go maybe for a mud bomb. Let's just go and just toss one mud bomb to his face and there we go. Get a little bit of skewered. Nice. All right. An overquill has been knocked out. Unfortunately, uh, my luxury is not going to be able to get any points, but that's all right, though. We'll make sure to get everybody healed up before we do anything else, though. Alrighty, so that's my Prox. Alright, well, thank you, Adamant. And, uh, so you f feel a mysterious presence. Oh, man, and here we go. Is this gonna be Azelf this time? Yes, it is. Alright. And here is Azelf. So what type of quiz do you have for us? Or show me the unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Strike me if you can. Whoa, are we gonna do a battle out here? Whoa, it's gonna be like a noble battle with the Azelf. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. All right, uh, let's see if I can strike you. Hey, you little cheater. You're not supposed to be teleporting. Hey, I got you now. Hey, what are you doing? Aha, oh, what, I can't do it? I know, I'm having a little bit of some difficulty there, Azov. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this fully? Uh, I'm not through yet. Uh, yeah, I'm not through with this. I will never give up. And there we go, guys. All right, finally, I got the A's elf. It did take me a little bit of time, but all you have to do is just try to find a way on how to like actually uh, target lock onto the A's elf, and then you should be actually good and uh, ready to uh, be set to actually uh, get the trial finished from there. But with all that being said, here we go, guys. We got ourselves the Azel Fang. So we got ourselves a Claw, a Fang, and we also got some sort of desperate other thing, which I forget what the other item was called. So. Very cool. So I didn't really realize that this is how, uh, I guess this is how Cyrus was able to go and build out the chain was that I guess he had these type of materials to, to make the red chain or did he just have like the full on red chain that was just already there? Hmm. They still need to be answered about how Cyrus got that red chain in the first place. But there we go. So we're all uh, finished and done with, with that. And then we can go and talk about the Volo here. So it seems like we finished the three lake trials. So I remember correctly that we're told to then go ahead for the Shrouded Ruins. All right, well, the Shrouded Ruins has to probably have to go and wait until the next episode, but since we already got everything completed, oh, okay, well, I guess we're already here anyways. <laughs> They're just going to jump us right into it. <laughs> I thought we actually had to go and travel right on over to the place. All right, so the mist is so very good at scary things and so long it's been blurred boundaries. So this is some more of those type of hieroglyphs that we see before here in, in this uh, area for the last time, because I think this is where uh, I think Lilligit was actually located at, right, if I remember? So if I aid the other uh, rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really have wish to know. Uh, well, right now, uh, but how do we go and uh, make this red shade? Yeah, that's how, how we're going to be able to do this, is we have all the items together. So we speak of divine instruments. One said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine that it can be forged by uh, mortal hands? I don't know. Uh, but then what are we doing here? Then we don't have any more, more time to waste. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. I cannot wait until we actually go and build out what this what this item is going to be like. Oh, well, here we go. So, Mesprit, Azelf, and also uh, Uxi are also going to be here to, to help us out. Oh, here they go. They're going to be powering up. Just like from before in Generation 4, where they had to put a stop to uh, Dalga and Palkia there. But there we go. The Red Chain has been forged. Nice. So, now we got ourselves the Red Chain. Wow, that actually does look really cool. I kind of like the design of that. Because uh, I think in uh, Generation 4, it actually looked like an actual uh, type of, like, like uh, gate type of chain. That's what it looked like uh, from last time. So that one actually is, like, like a legit actual type of chain. Uh, or, like, a necklace or something. So yet, uh, things do not seem to be going out so well for the rest of the world. Uh, so what is it supposed to mean? Uh, well, I had some good news for my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. Seems like they have the commander is going to, f uh, forego waiting for our investigation to finish. The only place to climb out, uh, Mount Corda himself. Oh, well, what is he thinking? Even if he makes it all the way up there, what can he do against the giant rift of the space-time? 
Yeah, well, that's not a good idea. I don't think America Mono should uh, not be going up there with, with like a whole bunch of other people. I think he needs us too. Okay, so it looks like uh, we're gonna be going and headed right back on over to the uh, to the place as well too, back on over to July Village, which I thought that that was never gonna be possible. But Akari's also here. Ah. So how's it hanging there, Akari? What's going on? Uh, a prox? Uh, uh, she was just having like this blank stare going on. Uh, yeah. So welcome back. Uh, well, it's been grim here. We in the survey course hardly even speak to one another lately. Uh, but since you're back, maybe Captain Selene's uh, appetite for potato mochi will turn. Anyways, uh, wait here a minute. Uh, will you? I'll go and go. I'll I'll let you go and uh, let the captain know that you're back. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just have to hold that off until the next episode then. Uh, or are we going to do it right now? Uh, so, my dear Prox. Uh, so, the professor has been awfully worried about you, Prox. Of course. I was worried, but I don't think I could even handle out the stress to show you, Akari. But that is blowing out of the proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up to hide their embarrassments. Uh, but if there was a captain. Uh, wasn't she uh, coming along with you, Professor? Uh, but she's very done her amount of work, and I'm afraid that we have to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems like uh, her hands are more than full now, and the Commander Commandos is gone. Uh, the commander's gone? Yeah, well, he set up for Mount Cornet with the security course in tow, but he's determined to handle the whole space time by himself, including the dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted to the other side. Well, that's what I was filling in the regular guards with Pikachu at the ready. Uh, well, if we are getting anywhere out here, let's go ahead and decide to report out to the captain. Alright. Well, let's see what has to happen now. Oh my goodness, there is so much, like, dialogue, dude. Like, uh, all I want to do is just get to a save point and that's literally about it <laughs> but before moving forward i must ask assume that you're here again because you managed to learn something of you the use well if this is the three lakes well yes we have and we also got ourselves the red chain go on yep so you explained about the red chain that you attained so there's very tool that said to find the very world yes well commander commando is no longer here in jubilee village and the security horse have been scouting the area for the space time but they reported sightings of something on the other side of it so that resembles a pokemon so the commander made a decision to go as the security corps to mount as you prepared, but I fed off any possible threat. And they were uh, to make uh, for the temple at the peak. Okay. So however strong the commander himself may be, he should have got a prox to help. Yeah, that that, that, that was kind of a, a, a foolish idea. Uh, so prox, uh, take that red chain to Mount Cornet and make your way to the peak and put an end to all this. You're officially reinstated as a former rake. Hooray! Uh, we are back to being a rank member uh, for the for the team galaxy. So are you sure that you could go and do with that commander anyways, Captain? Uh, well, what does he ask to think up? Uh, well, if he didn't wish me to assign things to this place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Yeah. Well, then I'll go as well. Uh, we're all in here in this together, so we members of the Survey Corps. So naturally, no one suggested that you should not. Eh. All right, so it looks like Lavatin's also back as well, too, to help us out. But anyways, I'll end off this episode here for today. Whoa, what the heck? Lucario also has a mission for us? Okay, well, that's kind of weird. Didn't know that Pokemon's also have missions for us as well. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And, of course, peace.